To solve this equation, we need to undo the radical, and we'll do that by squaring both sides. So we'll have the square root of a minus 8 squared equal to the square root of a minus 2 squared. Now, squaring a square root just gives us what's underneath the radical. If we square this side, we're going to square the first term, which will be a. We'll take 2 times the first term times the second term. Since it's subtraction, it'll be minus 4 times the square root of a. And then plus the second term squared. When I simplify this, I can subtract a from both sides, and I'll have negative a is equal to negative 4, a plus 4. I see then that we still have a radical with a variable, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and I'll get negative 12 is equal to negative 4 times a. And then finally, I'll divide both sides by negative 4, which will give me 3 equal to the square root of a. Now we're interested in finding a, so we will again square both sides to undo the radical. 3 squared is 9. The square of the square root of a is a. So we have that a is equal to 9. We found that a was equal to 9, but we need to determine if that is an extraneous solution or not. So we'll substitute 9 for a, and we'll see if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. On the left-hand side, we'll have the square root of 1. On the right-hand side, we'll have 3 minus 2. The square root of 1 is 1, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So because this is a true statement, we know that a is equal to 9.